So today we're off uh, in the Cairn Gorms. We're out of Peter again. Hi Peter. Alright. And we've just paid our two knacker parking, uh, which takes us up to midnight. So we'll need to come down off the top of Brerich at midnight. Put another two pound in and get back up Brerich, won't Aye, we Peter? Be right. <laughs> because that's our plan for this evening. And um, we'll hit the uh, Cairn Tool. Um, Devil's Point, etc. Tomorrow. So this is the Sugar Bowl car park, two pound a park. So this is a map that uh, I prepared when I did my trip report for the WalkHighlands.co.uk website, and the trip report's called Brerick Base Camp Calling, and you can see that um, we start off at the Sugar Bowl car park in the top right-hand corner. And uh, we go through the Chalmain Gap and we climb up Brerich where we camp in Blake Brerich. And then the next morning we continue on and grab some more 4,000 footers like Cairn Tool. Finishing off at the Devil's Point, a lowly 3,000 foot Monroe and descending into the ladder group at the Courier Bothy. And then we've got a big long walk back through the Laragru to the Sugar Bowl car park. So I hope you're going to enjoy it. It's Peter and I's biggest adventure to date and we really enjoyed it. Are you across the road and you're hitting a beautiful deciduous woodland with Scots pine views to your quarry ahead. Superb. Okay, so you come down there. It's well signposted, Chalmain Gap's this way and there's some about uh, dog owners if you're a, a dog owner you can read that keep your dog in a, a leader at heel and uh, we're heading up that way and a uh, lovely stream there so there's the path we followed when we went up to um, Ben McDowey, Peter Aye. See that middle of the three hills are the right hand side? Aye. See the path heading up it? Aye. And uh, there's the ski centre care park in Cairn Gorm and all the, uh, the winter sports stuff, ski runs. So Shalmain Gap looks as though it's directly over there. I would say. So, there it is in comparison. So you definitely want to start at the Sugar Bowl car park because if you don't you've got all that walk away down there to that bridge to do. Okay, so ahead is the Shalmain Gap. Can he really miss it? That big bunch of boulder field to be gotten through. Doesn't look as though it lasts too long, mind you. Unless there's some on the way down again. <coughs> There's the quarries. The Cairngorm. There's the ski centre. Okay, onward. So, we're nearing our friend the Chalmain Gap. Well, he's not a friend, we don't know him yet, but you know what I mean. Someone's got a wee tent pitch there. Quick look back. There's the ski stuff away over there. And that's the path we followed, snaking its way along the top of that wee hill there. Lovely walk, actually. I've got a lovely rucksack, John. Oh, and Peter's uh, all equipped with his carry mat and tent. Tons of water. The Shalmain Gap. This is the very start of it. Okay, this is about halfway up the Shalmain Gap. So far, it's just been the kind of steps made out of rocks, like that stuff there. Um, and, and a normal path but from now on up it's 
skip the boulder time. And that's only a couple of hundred feet. And I can see a peak. I think it's Cairn too. Charmaine Gap. I took the high road. They took the low road. Pays your money, you takes your choice. Just a wee bit of video. This is the second half of the Shalmain Gap. And we're heading for that wee bit of path there. There's that peak I spoke about earlier. Okay, so this is truly the end of the Shalmain Gap. And there's our targets over there. Okay, so we've traversed the Shalmain Gap and this is our first view of the Laragru with Brerich. So Laragru there, um, Brerich, Corries, snow up there. Uh, those peaks that we saw earlier, they are not our mountains. This is the peak you can see from the Shalmain Gap. This is the director's cut we're doing here. I'm going to actually nip over to that Monroe because Peter and I have also done that and its neighbour. And the views from up there are absolutely sublime. So let's just nip over for a quick bit of footage. So it's got a great walk up to this hill once you're up on the ridge. And uh, the outlook of it over the loch and over to Brerich is absolutely to die for. And it was blown an absolute hooly the day we, the night we were up there. It was a Friday night and we were camping right at the top. Just like we top, uh, camped at the top of Brerich, actually. And that was the second one row away over that rounded feature that we're going to get the next day. Uh, we walked all the way from here to there in total quag. It was a nightmare. Uh, but we wanted to get the tent set up for the night here. Okay, so that's the way ahead in Brerich. I don't know if the guys are panning for gold or what they're up to. Up there, I would say, is the Watcher's Crag. That's the Laragru. Okay, so with that wee bit of descent there, um, steep, would you say it's steep, Peter? A, a wee bit, right? A wee bit, but nothing the right aim about. We're not talking and stuck or anything here. Um, so this, oh, what a joy this is. Ice cold, water, superb. The place to get tanked up before you got Brerich. This is the... Uh, Starting point of the uh, the spay or something like that, eh? Or D, is it the D? And uh, from here it's up to the top of Brerich. So this is the fork in the path. Peter's standing right at the apex, and it's just up from the uh, the falls, the underground stream. Uh, if you're going to the Bothy via the low, low road. The Laragru, you go that way, and if you want to go up Brerich, you go that way. It's like Sockey Hall Street up here today. There's no a path snakes down there. Is there? They only catch me there anyway, I tell you. Could be. So there you can see the Laragru. And there's a bunch of folk going through it. And uh, we're on the path up the river.
Baby Tarmigan. Where is it? Come here, you wee blighter. <laughs> El Tarmo is going schizo. It's alright, I'll not touch your wing. I think that's a stook. I'm gonna go out on a limb and see that there's a stook. Superb. So we're now getting to the summit plateau. Our friend. up here. Good place for benighting it. Can't wait. Okay, there's where we came from. Over there's the uh, Cairngorm and the Tarmigan. There's the cars over there. Ben Mike Dewey. And then uh, there's tomorrow's targets over there. Can you see the devil's point anymore? Uh, there's cloud moving in, so I think we want to move and get the camp set up. Sorry, I forgot you can see it quite a lot from up here. Cliffs here. No doubt we'll see these tomorrow on the way back. And there's a McDuey Prairie Summit back there. That's the summit. And then straight back there's Cairn Gorn with the Tarmigan at the side there. Cloud and Brera. What a quarry. Probably one of many. Camp base Brera. Four thousand feet. What a place to camp for the night, eh? The second highest mountain in the UK, the third highest mountain in the UK, and the um, fourth, fifth, and sixth, the higher in the annex. We've got some mist 
strolling in over camp, base camp Brerich. Okay, so we're now getting a bit of cloud up in base camp Brerich. Yeah, let's see, I'll switch on the wee while and see what it's like then. Oh, it's a wee bit of video again because the sun's getting nice and low in the sky and it's the golden hour. So it's just going 5.30 in the morning, sun's up over there, and we've went back to Brer Eric Summit. We have a temperature inversion and down over there. Here's our quarry for today. There's the summit cairn there.
So here's my row 3 and my row 4 on top of my row 2 which is Angel's Peak There's Ben McDewey There's Cairngorm There's Breerach oh. up there all the way around and down here up here we have the summit cairn and there's the path you follow the north prairie time now 20 to 9 We've bagged them and all ready. Okay, so we've had our breakfast on top of Angel's Peak, and now it's time to get up the next one, Cairn 2, which is just over there, and then the Devil's Point Peak. Okay, so we're on our way down. And we get a view of the lock in. Pretty little thing, isn't he? And then there's your brewery. There's a lot of goo. There's where we're going. Up there. All right. So we're now up the top of Cairn Two, and there's the Devil's Prick A eh, point down there, and um, there's one of the two Cairn summits, but we'll be hitting them both. One of the two summit cairns of Cairn 2 and there's a uh, Angel's Point peak behind us with Brera Brerick and the sun. Bit of a boulder field coming up there. Still a bit of distance to get to the Devil's Point. Devil's Point over there. Don't know what that is. That's just sub top. That's a Peter. Chanel So I hope that's Devil's Peak then
So, then here's the BY. We dump the stuff and head up to the Devil's Point. So we're now almost at the peak of the Devil's Point. Left the stuff away down there in the BY. There's where we came from. There's where we'll be going to, back up the ladder grew. And uh, there's where we're going immediately. The Cairn Summit. It's a bit that you drop down a way, way up there. It's reasonably steep. It's not a stick. It's not looking nice out there. reached the bothy, went in and inspect the toilet, that will not be getting used, uh, and there's the slabs of a devil's point. Got the uh, bothy with the wee bridge and our route backs up that way, five and a half hours a guy says it'll take us, and uh, there's the devil's doodah. So we're back at Lurcher's Crag. Thank God. This will be some terminal moraine from a glacier. So, we're well on our way now. It's Lurcher's Crag. So these are the pools of D, the source of the River D. This is Lutcher's Crag. Very. And Lutcher's Crag. Hopefully, we're about at the end of this bloody ladder group because. Some walk. After all that working, walking, sorry, we're back at the bit where the path forks. So we went that way yesterday for Berwick, and we're coming back this way from the Devil's Point. And there's Peter rushing in there to get the fresh water out of the stream. looking good. And the sun, 